Hello everyone, welcome to the Nostalgia Zone. Today we're jumping into the cockpit of the Raptor Fighter, because the shadows call our name. We're gonna take off and take our enemies down. They will never know what hit them. I don't know about this. Sure, why not? It is probably a terrible idea, as usual, but we're, we're gonna do it. Now, Raptor is a really cool game. It is a shoot 'em up, but you can buy parts for your aircraft. Different weapons, shields. And so forth. Right now, I'm gonna leave without buying anything, and we'll see if I can. if I still remember how to play this thing. We got three sectors, and this is like the episodes in classic FPS games like Doom. So, Knee, knee Deep in the Dead would be Bravo Sector. Uh, the Shores of Hell, Tango Sector, and so forth. Autopilot, I believe, sends you to the... Uh, the first uncompleted sector you have. So, as we're starting, we're gonna go to Bravo Sector. And here we go. The graphics are really good. Or, I really like them. The sound effects... I remember playing this back in the 90s and the music and getting really pumped. It is a pretty cool game. Pretty responsive too. Unlike other shoot em ups, you have a health bar on the right side of the screen, which is essentially a shield. It's not your health. Once that shield is depleted, you start taking damage to the hull. And what that does is, if you have any extra weapons, you lose them. Which sucks if you've invested, say, 200,000 credits on missiles and or cannons or whatnot so it's good to keep an eye out on that shield and replenish it every single time now these missiles are exclusively air to air they won't hit targets on the ground They won't hit that ship, for example. I was gonna say, they don't hit ground targets, so... But we won't need it. And it's true, we won't need it, but... It would be nice. I particularly like the dumb fire missiles, because they hit everything. But they're a bit... Erratic. Ah! Ooh. Air to air missiles deal a lot of damage to the shields. Those. I lost my missiles. I guess they don't have to wipe out your shields. Just blow damage your shields. Just get your shields low, sorry. Ow. Well. I think Elite was a bit ambitious.
Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. Uh. Watch me get shot down again. This game could be an action movie. I'm picturing some really cool air-to-air -air combat uh, scenes. I really like the sound of the machine. It is a great little game back from 1994. Also back then I was only able to play the shareware. I never got the full retail copy. I came back to it when it was released uh, on good old games and finished it. I consider it to be a pretty cool game and I recommend it. It is definitely a quality shoot em up. And the upgrades, which I would like to show you, but I need to not get shot down this time. They're really cool and you can get a very powerful aircraft. And of course getting shot down at that point really hurts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the later levels I was saving before every mission because yeah about a million credits in in gear not sure if a million but a lot and no that and starting again no thanks I made it to the boss one cool thing is I have no idea what its health bar is but if I buy an upgrade, then it shows me how much health it has. I think this is great design. I never particularly liked games that don't show you health bars. Save a few like Doom, I never had a problem with that. But other games, I would like to see how much damage I'm doing. And in here, they let you buy an upgrade that does exactly that. So let's have a look. Always restock on energy modules. That's your shield. The ion scanner. This thing will allow me to see the boss health. The face shield is an overshield, so it goes over your normal shields, and it is great, especially in the higher levels. Plasma hits really hard. Oh, and the twin laser is absolutely devastating. And yeah, it's about a million. 
Almost two. Let's go for that. I think that was a bad purchase. Alright. The game doesn't change much. It has different ships and those ships have different attack patterns. But for the most part what you see right here is what you get. This is the entire game. Cruising around. Obviously the backgrounds change, particularly when you move um, to a different episode or sector. And there's destructible structures just because. I think they give you a bit of money when you, when you destroy them. No, they don't. Oh yeah, they do. Or some do, anyway. But I think that's a cool detail. That you're actually, in a way, interacting with the, the game world. This is back in 94 when shooters... You only shot enemies, but you really never shot anything in the background. I believe that has changed through the years and the more, uh, well the newer shoot em ups do have destructible environments and so forth. Not all of them, but I'm pretty sure some have. I was never very good at these types of games, so that and I didn't own certain systems. One I played in arcade was Raystorm. And man, that arcade ate so many of my quarters, it's ridiculous. And even now, trying to get into the newer shoot em ups. I just don't do well, I don't know why. Oh, those those uh, SAM sites are really bad. They deal a lot of damage. My shields are not exactly in tip-top shape. Here's the boss and there's the health bar because I got the ion scanner. Nowadays, there will be players who think, well, but that should be standard on every game. I don't know, I think it... I think this game... solved that conundrum in a pretty creative way. And if you want the extra challenge, you just don't buy the scanner. Or you like the mystery, I should say. I also want that plane. What can I buy with 93k? Air to ground. This is the good one, it hits everything. Well, I would go with that. Well, I know, I wouldn't. That was a misclick. Oh yeah. 
they just got scammed. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and never sell your machine gun. I've done that before. Anyway. It is a fun little game. It won't take very long to complete. I mean, nowadays we have kilometric games. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure in an evening you could finish at least one episode easy. Maybe two. Or maybe even the entire game if you just go at it. I don't know. I'm not taking time. But... Check it out if you like uh, shoot 'em ups Or if you're feeling the nostalgia and would like to go back to 1994 in a way, maybe. I don't know. All that said, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Cheers.